Hey guys, Joker here from Mini Productions HD. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to Mini Productions as well as check out the channel if you haven't already done so. And at the same time, click the annotation at the top to go to it, as well as checking out RSP Productions and other annotations on the opposite side of the screen. So guys, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to those channels, and here comes the video. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Hey what's up guys, Joker here, just bringing you a glitch on the map Transit. This was recorded and made by Josh Miller 121 I'm commentating for him so the first thing you're going to do is pick up a turbine, place it down, pick up another turbine to do the invincible turbine glitch. From there you're going to make your way to the tunnel. So follow us in the bus. When you get to the tunnel you're going to jump out right where the turbine would be or the thunder gun part would be. You're going to place the turbine down in the corner right here like so. And then from there. You're gonna, just going to show you that this is the invincible turbine now, so if you throw a grenade, it goes over, it blows up, doesn't kill the turbine. So now you're going to make your way over and build the zombie shield, but you're not going to pick it up. So the shield's been placed right there, you have not picked it up, now you're going to make your way to the power station. From there, you want to make your way over and create the zombie um, trap, the electric trap. From here you want to do the same thing like you did with the turbine in the beginning. Place it on the ground, pick up another one to get the invincible turbine, uh, the invincible electric trap. Make your way back into the tunnel. From the tunnel, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, what he's gonna do is he's gonna make the make sure the zombie's not close to him so that the round doesn't start because the electric trap kills zombies. The point of the invincible electric trap is that if a zombie gets nearby, it kills it. You can use this to skip rounds. This is the point of having the electric trap now. So you place it down in the corner like so. He's gonna place it. So there it is. Josh Miller placed it. You're gonna make your way around now, and then you're gonna go back and you're gonna grab that zombie shield. So now once you've got the zombie shield like so, you pick it up. You're gonna make your way back to the tunnel. And when you're back in the tunnel, all you're gonna do is you're gonna place the zombie shield like he's gonna show you. He's gonna have to revive his teammate first, one down. So he's got his zombie shield. He's gonna go into the corner, take out his zombie shield, and he's gonna hold it out with R1. Move forwards, and as soon as you see the zombie shield change shape slightly now, you place it. So there you go. So now you have one friend standing between the turbine and the shield. And then the other friend can be standing either behind, standing at the M16, they can move over. As long as the turbine's down there, the zombies get instantly killed by the... Not the turbine, as long as the trap is down there, the zombies instantly get killed by it. So it's a nice easy glitch you can use to skip rounds. And if you need to buy ammo or anything, you can go over and buy the M16. It's a great way to get to high rounds. It's a great glitch, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Joker. This is for Josh Miller 121. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.